Get ready for the Rockies, folks. For the second time in four years, the Rebels are off to the Final Four. They're going to be playing in Denver on Saturday. Steven Jackson is in Oakland for today's game against Loyola Marymount. Steve, I know everybody expected the Rebels to win this game, but, wow, by 30 points, they just blew Loyola out. They really did blow Loyola out of this contest, and I, I think, Ron, the key was that the running Rebels were never, ever intimidated by Loyola Marymount's running style, their run-and-gun style that ran Michigan right out of gas a week ago. They were also not intimidated by the fact that emotionally, Loyola Marymount had all the edges. In fact, the crowd, in fact, the nation at large backing them. But the Rebels never let that intimidate them. They got off to a great start. They had an 11 to nothing run. They had a 12 to nothing run, a 14 to nothing run, and a 24 to six run. And basically, Loyola Marymount just didn't have the big men inside to deal with Butler, Augman, and Johnson. They were outmanned, and a great dream season they had, but uh, the Rebels are dream killers today. They have their own dream, and they're living it. They're going to the Mile High City of Denver. Let's take a look at some of the reaction after today's contest. It was a lot of um, comments said in the paper the last few days that we needed oxygen tanks and we couldn't run with them. But we knew we could run with them and we didn't, you know, retaliate and make no comments, which everybody thought we was. We just came out and played our game. Because yesterday you said that Loyola might be the only team in the country that might be in better shape than your guys, but it didn't really look that way out there today. And just wondering about your strategy to keep them fresh. I changed my mind. I think we're in better shape than they are. <laughs> We did something today that I have never done in my whole career. We, we had a backup for each kid, and I told, told the starters, as soon as you feel tired, you take yourself out of the game, and the backup goes in, and then as soon as you're ready, you go right back in. I'm, I'm proud of this whole team because we came out and we played hard, and that's all we could expect. And they, they played a great game, and they're a great team. But, you know, anytime you go to Final Four, it's great. I think I told the kids that, you know, I wanted to – the greatest sporting event, in my opinion, is the Final Four, and, and we only have one guy on our team that's been there before, and that's Stacy Savanovich. And this was a big, big thrill, I'm sure, for all of our kids to have that opportunity now. Jerry Tarkanian headed back to the Final Four for the third time, 77, 87, and now 1990. The all-tournament team from the western region up here at Oakland, California, included three UNLV Rebels. Stacy Ogman, he was the most outstanding player of the region. Also, Anderson Hunt, Larry Johnson. From the Loyola Marymount Lions, the great Bo Kimball, who scored 42 points today. And also, from the Ball State Cardinals, the young man, the great young freshman, fellow by the name of Chandler Thompson. You might remember him from a couple of days ago, some outstanding dunks against the Rebels. He was outstanding. I think that Stacy Ogman early on, and the fact that Anderson Hunt was able to get off quickly, his shots were falling in that first half. He didn't get down. He had a 30-point game. So Stacy and I think also Anderson were the crucial players in this game today. The Rebels win big. They're going to Denver, Ron. Have a good time up there, fella. All right, Steve. We'll get ready for the trip. Get the bags packed for Denver. All right. Now, uh, with that Final Four logo that we've got here, it has new meaning, doesn't it, for the Rebels with those mountains of Denver? They take on Georgia Tech will be the opening game Saturday afternoon.